Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Well, guys, today, as you know, we are taking a look at the Walmart reissue of Transformers Maximal Cyber Shark. Now, one of the funny things about this guy is that it's mentioned for his robot mode. You may not be able to see it right there, but, well, it's actually for beast mode, too, is that one of his attack features is he will launch his beast mode head as some sort of weapon and here it plainly is showing you that in beast mode you can do that which is kind of weird so with that being said let's get this boy out of his package there is a predator in the deep that will come and eat your camera actually no in all seriousness guys that is one of the things that i am really digging about his beast mode is I mean, if you're going to do a shark transformer, make sure that you put a little bit of effort and detail into his mouth. Now, one of the things that I am noticing is on this reissue, at least on my copy, he is having a little bit of issue completely sealing shut right here on the bottom. It's, it's not a big thing, you know, because most of the time you're seeing it from this angle. However, that does remind me of something that is kind of funny, is when you look at Razzle Repulse, he's a shark, yet they have him just sitting on a rock in the jungle, and I'm like... Uh, okay, I get it. You maybe don't have a aqua setup, but that just looks ridiculous. Oh man, I, I am digging just the paint on this thing, how the blues, they fade into the, you know, the creamy whites, the red eyes for the hammerhead, which I guess if we're going to display that feature that was talked about earlier, is I guess you just go ahead and press down on this and it, wow. That is rather underwhelming. If we look at it, technically, does that turn him into like some sort of cyborg, great white, now that he doesn't have the hammer bit on there? Just, I don't know. That is kind of weird, but I do love it. Okay, so here he is with his Transmetal 2 iteration. Now, you see this guy? He's pretty much in a straight pose, which for his robot mode, as we'll see, that works out really well. However, for his Transmetal 2 iteration, he does have this kind of art shimmying pose, which it doesn't come back too bad in the robot mode, considering how he transforms. Man, the styles, while dramatically different, it is ironic that it is the same guy, just at two different points in his life. So they both just kill it at what they're going for. So with that being said, let's see what this boy looks like once he maximizes. All right, so here we are finally taking a look at our guy in robot mode. And uh, yeah, he's kind of really dumpy looking with his hammerhead on, you know, forming the majority of his chest. Although this is one of two configurations you can use. And I promise we will come back to that here in just a second. But I do have to address something that I did get wrong for beast mode is this is how his beast mode tail is supposed to be with a smaller fin. However, I think you could, uh, you know, forgive me for thinking that as extra as this guy is, that this was how his tail was supposed to be. But that is for robot mode to where you just go ahead and press that, that trigger and... This thing is supposed to be pretty gnarly, and it's supposed to be his main weapon. Now, the main thing I have with Transformers is if they are of the warrior class, I've always kind of have a problem if they just have melee weapons. Well, this guy actually has energy weapons, but the way that he goes about it is kind of interesting. So if you can kind of see back here, you can see that there's these two... Uh, kind of just storage areas and basically it's holding these missiles and I went ahead and popped this one out already But the way that you get to use those is you first have to go ahead and lift up his entire chest section Which as we saw earlier the whole hammerhead launching thing is You know kind of sad So now you can actually leave this down like this which gives him I mean a much better cleaner look Which is this is how it depicts him on the artwork is he doesn't have this big chunk hanging down there. 
So you can leave it down like that, or if you want to, go ahead and flip it up. And we'll just kind of see how he does with the missiles as opposed to the head. So let's go ahead and we'll pull our Predacon target back in range. Let's see if it has any... Oh, that was a little bit better. It did look like it went through Shadow Panther's legs, but it's a little bit more impressive on the firepower. Digging that, I guess if you wanted to, he could kind of hold them like clubs and, and stuff. Well, can he? Yeah. He can actually hold them and just kind of go to, you know, beating people up. If you want to see what he looks like holding his scissor bladed weapon thingy here. I mean, for a 90s, you know, Transformer, it's got a little bit of potential. I mean, just the whole aesthetic of it. The one thing that I did notice is missing is right here, they used to have the rub symbol, which you could, you know, it was just basically like the mood rings where you would rub it and would reveal their allegiance. But let's see how this guy actually stacks up to his Transmetal 2 version. And my oh my, what a glow up this guy will one day get. Now see, in robot mode, I get a lot more of that feeling. Like you can kind of imagine that maybe his tail weapon merged with his hand to become this spinning claw of death. Which I did want to go ahead and mention that if you do leave this collapsed up, you can kind of make it maybe slightly homage the weapon that he's got, which, man, he is so back heavy. And then you can see that instead of having a cannon on his shoulder, he gets kind of this cool gun, which it launches two missiles. And, you know, like the, the fins sticking off the back and how the, basically the body of the shark, instead of being up and down, it becomes these wings, you know. In robot mode, you get a little bit more of that feeling of, yeah, this is the same guy, again, just at different points in his life. But liking how both these boys are looking. So here is our shark mouth boy with guys that have a little bit more of a normal uh, human face, if you want to call it that. It does it clash. I kind of feel it does with Tigertron a little bit. I mean, it doesn't kill it for me. I think that I, you know, will probably still put them on the shelf together. If you can't tell, I definitely am liking Cyber Shark. So glad to have him do the collection. Alright guys, well, that'll be all I have on this guy for right now. If you haven't, please check out our live streams that we did for the G2 Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And then we also did one where we took the Legacy Skids and Drag Strip and kind of compared them to each other. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this video. And until next time, we'll see you in another review. This is the last time you'll interfere with my fun. Big talk for a crab cake.